This is a LEGO Dragon, the first one ever created, and it sparked a long history of designs, including sets from many of LEGO's most famous themes, and so today we'll be taking a look at exactly that as we find the best LEGO Dragons ever made. And because I've wanted to build a giant dragon castle battle for a long time now, I'm going to be choosing three of these dragons to build and feature in the final scene of my next dragon video. Make sure to stick with me as I will be announcing the winner of the Fell Beast giveaway later in this video. Begonda! So let's take it back to the start by looking at the first ever LEGO Dragon which released back in 1993 inside a couple of LEGO system sets including the Fire Breathing Fortress. It consisted of seven individual parts that clipped together with a bright green body and red wings and is honestly still a very iconic design to this day and it's just limited by the fact it's an all-in-one mould and doesn't really pose much. We wouldn't actually see an updated Dragon design until 2003 with set 7419 the Dragon Fortress which included the Golden Dragon. This was an exclusive updated version of the original system dragon with gold printing all over its body along with a new embellished tailpiece and a new gold headpiece and this is one of the most unique and detailed Lego designs ever made. The fact it was released back in 2003 is genuinely crazy. The Golden Dragon is also where we first see the difference in Eastern and Western dragons. In the East, dragons are seen as symbols of luck and are often wingless with flowing bodies like the Lego or Vicious dragon, whereas in the West, dragons are depicted as dangerous beasts with an appetite for destruction. Vega on House of the Dragon is a really good example of this, and because I grew up reading Western stories like Beast Quest, The Hobbit, and later the Aragon book series, which is entirely about dragon riders, I'm going to be focusing in on those Western dragons in this video. But Vikings took center stage in 2005, with the first ever brick-built and technic-based dragon designs, which actually borrowed parts from the Bionicle theme. There were five different designs, from smaller ones like the Wyvern Dragon, up to larger builds like the Nidhogg Dragon in red, the Fafnir Dragon in green, and the Armoured Ofnir Dragon in a stormy blue colour. But also in 2005, the Moulded Dragon was upgraded with the first ever Harry Potter Hungarian Horntail, coming with a new shape and some minor printing details. Castle would take over in 2007, with a new large Moulded Dragon appearing, a black version was included in the King's Castle Sea, and a red version inside the skeleton tower. These were a serious upgrade on the previous designs and consisted of 32 separate pieces. Most of them are molded and unique, which makes it one of the most realistic dragons Legos ever made to this day. We then saw a recolored green and yellow version with armor plating and some gold printing inside the 2008 Troll Warship. And this is now the rarest version and is worth around $150 in 2024. And then again, this version would be updated one more time in 2013 inside the Dragon Mountain set with more realistic printing and a bright red colorway. Now if those castle dragons aren't enough for you this is where Lego dragons get complicated because there are over 30 Ninjago sets that included dragons. Some you just can't unsee and were awful so I'm only going to cover the very best of them. From 2011 right up to 2015 they used a design which while it did have some cool play features looked ridiculous with these helicopter blades as wings like you can see in the 2013 Golden Dragon. Also in 2014, LEGO Minecraft would introduce a smaller Ender Dragon design, which is pretty accurate to the in-game dragon, and then we'd also see some pink, purple, and bright coloured Ninjago-style dragons in the short-lived LEGO Elves theme, which are quite reminiscent of some vintage games like Dragon Veil. But this video could never cover the best LEGO Dragon without including the 2014 LEGO Lord of the Rings theme, the Hobbit set, The Lonely Mountain, which included the granddaddy of epic dragons, Smaug the Almighty. Now Smaug came with 36 pieces, slightly more than the castle version, and is still the largest moulded Lego dragon today. The dark red and the face printing was almost perfectly accurate to the Smaug played by Benedict Cumberbatch in the movies, and because of all of this Smaug costs almost $200 in 2024. Ninjago would finally release a couple of decent designs in 2018, with set 70653 The Firstborn. It really pushed the Ninjago design forwards with the best brick built dragon face yet and detailed printed cloth wings but it was here that I kind of realized the only way a dragon ranks top 
tier is when Lego includes a molded headpiece, which is why my favourite 2019 dragon was the Harry Potter Hungarian Horntail. It came with 143 pieces and is one of the best smaller Lego dragon designs yet. It's very accurate to the Horntail we see in the Goblet of Fire during the Triwizard Tournament and is one of the few affordable dragons on this list. And if you're wondering why it only has two legs, that's because it's a wyvern dragon, whereas regular dragons have four legs. Now, because of how iconic dragons are, most of the well-designed Lego versions are really not very affordable, which is why today's sponsor, The Brick News, offers monthly giveaways and build competitions for these giant adult collector sets. And for the rest of August, they're giving away both the Dungeons & Dragons Red Dragon Castle and the Lego Icons Medieval Town Square. The best part is the entry is international, but also that it costs just $3 to enter, the same price as a cup of coffee. And it's all run completely fairly, with the entry limited to one per person, meaning that you have an equal chance of winning. You can enter for yourself down at the links in the description, but signing up really helps to support me to continue making LEGO content. And Ninjago would push things one last time before they managed to perfect their dragons with the Skeleton Sorcerer's Dragon, a rather epic looking bone dragon that looks absolutely ferocious. And then finally in 2021, LEGO would release the Ninjago set 71753, the Fire Dragon Attack, which amidst a bunch of designs that seem to be going backwards, looks both realistic, well designed and just really fearsome. And to me, it looks the most similar to the dragons that we see in House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, and other fantasy universes. The use of sloped bricks and tiles really helps stop it from feeling blocky, while the headpiece is fully molded and covered with detailed printing. The wings are a clear standout and they can even be moved into various positions with a fiery wing print covering the entire fabric. It's a near perfect combination of the molded and brick built versions that we've seen before. Now an honorable mention goes to the various baby dragons over the years, from the original basic molded version through to Harry Potter's Norbert, and also Ninjago's recent 2023 baby Ryu minifigure, which is a really neat little mold. There has been a couple of dragons since, from the newer display Hungarian Horntail set, to the Ninjago Source Dragon, a giant UCS style Ninjago set, and then also in the smaller Young Ryu Dragon set, which is probably my favourite cheaper dragon design, and also most recently in the Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon's Tail. But also, there's the Golden Paladin Dragon Warrior minifigure coming in the new Dungeons and Dragons CMF lineup, and so there's quite a lot of dragon action incoming. There are a lot of sets I couldn't include, from Marvel to Monkey Kid, and you can check out more about these mostly Eastern designs in this great breakdown from AL123 Productions. And because I need to choose three of these dragons to include in my final project and scene, I need you guys' help to choose which ones I'm gonna build. Make sure to let me know down in the comments and stay tuned for part two. And this is a little bit delayed, so apologies to any of you who have been waiting on this, but a big congratulations goes out to at Matty Freeman 07, who is the winner of the Nazgul Fell Beast gift with purchase. Drop a comment down below on this video, or you can contact me over on Instagram and I'll get that set shipped out to you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for all things Lego, but I'll see you guys on the next video.